LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. D minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Ignition and lift off. In Bosca El Go Falcon, go Cosmo. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the Cosmo SkyMed satellite to a polar sun synchronous orbit. Power and telemetry nominal. Now during ascent, we tilt the engines, and that's what we call gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally, and that's what we call a gravity turn. We're still going up, but we're now also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. The rocket typically needs to go Falcon about... Falcon 9 is supersonic. We need to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth. Max Q. And there we heard the call out for max Q. We have now passed through the maximum aerodynamic pressure. And with that, we do have five events coming up. So we'll have Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, a flip of the first stage, SES-1, and then followed immediately by the boost back burn on the first stage. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Mission. Stage one, boost back startup. With the grid fins deploying on your screen. Bearing separation confirmed. Now what you're seeing on your screen on the left hand side is the first stage uh, currently in its boost back burn. That is the first of three burns to make its way back to land. And on your right hand screen, we do have the second stage engine lit up stage one boost back shut down and we are that call out that the boost back burn has ended incredible views today got some great ground views of the vehicle as it is making its ascent and we're currently in the first of two planned mvac burns for satellite deployment that entry burn will be the second of three burns needed to make its way back to landing zone one today. Now for the entry burn, we relight three of the nine M1D engines, and that starts with the center E9 engine followed by the E1 and E5 engines. And that helps to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we need to slow the vehicle down to reduce- Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Great call outs, everything's looking nominal. And for that entry burn, we do need to slow down the, the vehicle uh, to reduce the re-entry forces. Uh, that helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. And again, today we are attempting to land at landing zone one. This is back at land. Pico one. We need three burns to get us there. We've already completed the boost back burn and we're coming up on the entry burn here. And Stage one, entry burn startup. We heard the call out and you can visually see on your screen that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this helps to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. It's only about a 20 second burn. Stage one, entry burn shut down. We heard the call out that the entry burn has completed and you can see that the engines have shut down on your left hand screen. In the background view of the first stage as it's making its way back to landing zone one, Stage one, landing burn. And the landing burn, wow, incredible views of this landing burn of this first stage. Let's see if we can touch down on landing zone one today. Stage one, landing like the floor. Stage one, landing burn. 
What an incredible sight to see. We have touched down at landing zone one. Now the second stage now embarking on its first coast phase. So we'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. And in the meantime, enjoy the space tunes. Welcome back to the webcast of the Falcon 9 mission carrying the Cosmos SkyMed satellite for our customer, Talus Alenia Space. We're just a few seconds away from the second ignition of the MVAC engine carrying the second stage and Cosmos SkyMed into the orbit needed to deploy the satellite. MVAC startup. And shutdown. And there, we got a quick view. Just waiting for confirmation of good orbit here. Nominal payload deploy orbit. And great news, we just had SES-2 and SECO-2. It was a quick three second burn. We also got confirmation of a good orbital insertion. The Cosmos SkyMed satellite is still attached to Falcon 9 second stage. And we have just one more major milestone coming up, and of course that is the deployment of the Cosmos SkyMed payload from Falcon 9 second stage. And we're coming up on that in a few seconds here, and we've got a great live view. Payload deploy confirmed. Incredible view of the Cosmos SkyMed satellite drifting away from our Falcon 9 second stage. That is visual confirmation of payload deploy, and that will also bring our webcast to a close. All of us here at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customer, Talus Alenia Space, for entrusting us with today's mission for Italy's Space Agency and Ministry of Defense. We also want to give a shout out to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in. Have a great night and we'll see you again soon.